so I have minimal time at home by myself and so no time to record. I'm recording about three videos. I might do a fourth video. Not sure. This one will be my regular book haul, all from either Christmas or money from Christmas or some of them from before Christmas. But anyways, Christmas related books. Okay! I'm not sure if I hauled this at all, um, but I did buy this like way back in November. But if I have shown this already, I apologize if I haven't. Here it is, and that is Makeup by Michelle Fan. Fan, I, I never know how to pronounce her name, even though I'm pretty sure she says it on her videos. Anyways, not familiar with her, go look up her YouTube channel. She is amazing. General makeup beauty uh, stuff. I definitely like to wear makeup, so I get a lot of my tips and stuff from the beauty community on YouTube and she is obviously one of my favorites. She is a lot of people's favorites, otherwise she wouldn't have a book now would she? Um, kind of her background story too and how she got into vlogging and blogging and all that good stuff. So really interested in starting this. I have not started to read this yet but probably soon. We'll see. The first Christmas gift that I got this year was actually before Christmas, but I decided to wait until afterwards to show all the books together. And this one was from a fellow booktuber, and that is The Art of Avatar The Last Airbender, which I got from Kayla from Bookadoodles. Thank you so much. I've already told you how much I love the fact that you got this book. I am very much into art and anime, obviously, and although it's not Japanese anime, Airbender will always be one of my favorite out there ever in the world. Oh, it's so beautiful. Just look at it! I'm really excited. I've already flipped through it. It makes me want to draw. That's all it does. It just makes me want to draw every time I look at it. And yes, so thanks again, Kayla, for getting this for Christmas for me. Thank you! I also picked up a few graphic novels. The first one, obviously, is Saga Volume 4 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, which I have already read immediately after I picked it up. So amazing. The end of this book, though, the ending, oh my god, I want the fifth volume already. If you've already read this, you know what I'm talking about. It's like, why? Why? That last page. That last page. I was like, what's going on here? No. They, they, no. But I also picked up Deadly Class by Reagan Youth. A lot of people on BookTube have been picking up this graphic novel, and I was really excited to pick it up for myself, so... All I know is it's about a class of assassins, so... Yes, can't wait to read it. And then I continued a series that I already own, and it is Volume 6 of Amulet by Kazu Kabuishi. And I own the first five, so I needed the sixth one. I wasn't aware of when it came out, so I suddenly saw it on someone's haul, and I said, uh, I need to add that to my collection. So I did another beautiful cover. Gorgeous. These other two I got because of recommendations on booktube. The first one is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and Adriana from Perpetual Pages raves about this book all the time. It was on like one of her top lists for 2014 and I definitely wanted to pick it up because it sounds interesting. And the last one I have here just came in the mail today. It is not the first book in the series. I do have the series coming in but this was the first one that was here and so I'm waiting for the rest of them to come in and that is Out a Summer by Mary Robinette Cowell. This is the first in a series that I don't know the name of. So anyways, I think this is a four book series and I ordered the first three because the fourth book is only in hardback and I'm waiting for it to come out in paperback, which I think they said in March. What caught my attention was this was in a book haul recently and they described it as being Jane Austen with magic. Yeah, I know. That hooked me too, right? So, obviously, I love Jane Austen stuff. I've never actually read a Jane Austen novel. Shame. The shame. Um, but I do love the storylines, all the movie adaptations, all the miniseries adaptations. Love, love, love the storylines. So that definitely hooked me to this. Plus the fantasy element with magic. Yes. Yes. I have a feeling I'm really going to like this book. And then I just have a small stack of 
mass paperback books that I will go through here now. The first one is Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. This is the second book in the Gentleman Bastard series and I have not started that series but I plan to. In the meantime I am collecting it so I have book two here. I also picked up Fuzzy Nation by John Scalzi. I picked this up mostly because out of recommendations from a few booktubers this author is pretty popular and this particular book has been going around. I've seen a couple people, none of the names are coming to my mind, but uh, yes, um, I'm really interested. Adult sci-fi, that's all I know. We'll see. With uh, fuzzy little people things. Yes, I'm a good book explainer. Oh uh, yeah, some of these I just bought just because recommendations. I knew nothing about them. The next one I know nothing about is Daughter of the Forest by Juliet Marillier, I think is how you say it. Marillier? 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 Not sure. Not sure how you pronounce it. This is the first book in the Seven Waters trilogy. I've heard really good things about it. I've heard it's an awesome fantasy at the same time it has a really really good love story in it as well. Which I do like love stories as long as they're done correctly, not overdone, and as long as it's not like the whole plot. I don't know anything about this next one either other than the fact that this author is really well known on booktube so I am going to check it out and that is The Ambassador's Mission by Trudy Canavan. This is book one in the Traitor Spy trilogy and yeah, this is book one. And then since I loved this author's other book series so much I decided to try this one and that is Daughter of the Blood by Anne Bishop. This is the first book in the Black Jewel trilogy. Loved, loved her Written in Red book. I've only read the first one. I know I need to get on that and read the second one and then the third one comes out here this year I think. Not too sure. So those are all the books that I received with Christmas money, Christmas gift cards. I didn't actually get any of these books on Christmas because my family has no idea what books I already own and what books I would like so they are just like here has the gift cards, get what you want, which I appreciate. I really, really do. I'd rather them just give me that so I can choose my own thing instead of guessing and getting me a book that I don't like. So thank you family, thank you friends, and I will have another video up here soon, perhaps my December wrap up and my January TBR. Not sure, but I will see you guys next time. Bye!